Hey guys, welcome to my Bear Inspector guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to kill them on a task. So we will be using Neve's Cave today. And here is the gear that you're going to need. So you need some prayer boosting gear. I've opted for Initiate. You can wear monk robes or the other version of this armor. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, you want a strength boosting offhand weapon. I've got a dragon fire shield. If you don't have one of them, you can use a defender or you can use a prayer book for the extra prayer bonus as we will be praying on this task. You want a salve amulet, preferably the enchanted version. I haven't been bothered to get mine enchanted yet, so but if you do have that, get it. If you're wondering where you can get this amulet from, you need to complete the haunted mine quest, and then that's one of the rewards. But if you don't have that, then you can wear either an amulet of fury, or you can wear a glory. I want to wear our slayer helmet. Now, these two don't stack for their bonuses because this gives you like a 15% bonus against the undead and this gives you the bonus on slayer tasks. The only reason I'm wearing this is because you need a nose peg. So if you don't have a slayer helmet then you need to be wearing a nose peg for this task. For the cape I recommend fire cape or if you have it infernal cape. Or if you don't have that then you can wear an obsidian cape or something like that. For the gloves you want to wear the best gloves that you can so I've got Barrow's gloves. Boots, dragon boots, or if you have any better boots. Uh, and if you can't afford dragon boots, then rune boots will do, or climbing boots. For the ring, I'm wearing a berserker ring. Again, I should be using the imbued version, but I can't be bothered to get it. So if you have the imbued version, use that. If not, you can always wear the ring of wealth. And I will be using a whip on this task. You can always use a dragon scimitar or something like that. So for the inventory, I've got a spec weapon I've chosen for the dragon dagger. I've got cannonballs for the cannon, some runes for Alkin, uh, the cannon, eight prayer potions. Now this bit's optional, so you can fetch the holy wrench because it helps for your prayer. So when you're drinking prayer potions you get an extra point, I think it is, per dose. And I've also got a herb sack. If you don't have that, then not just mean you have to bank a bit more often. So to get there, uh, you start from where Neve is, you go inside the cave. And the aberrant spectres are actually southeast. So first you want to follow the path down southwest. You'll come to the hellhounds, you want to run past these. And then follow the path east. Let's carry on running past the hellhounds. And then there you are. Now there's three different areas where you can go. There's this first area here. There's another one, I'll just turn on the retaliate of a sec. There's another one over here, and then another one here. So it's just all down to preference which part you want to use. I like to use the one on the west, so I'm going to hop and find an empty world. Alright, guys, I've got an empty world. I've also run to the bank and got super attack and super strength potion. I forgot to mention these earlier on. So, what I want to do is come over to the west, put on protect from magic. Set up your cannon. I'm not really sure where the best spot in this room is for the cannon right now, but I, I keep testing different areas and trying to find out where the best location is. So if you do know where the best place is to put it, uh, be sure to let us know in the comments. So once you've set down the cannon, it's just a case of potting up, turning on to retaliate back on, and then attacking them. Hope you found this guide useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment below. Thanks for watching.